Hi internet, in this video I will be attempting to make a mosaic coaster. I have made something like this before with this type of material. The last time I made something like this, I think it was a feather or a leaf, something like that. Um, but it was meant to be um, non-functional <laughs> and purely decorative. This is going to be a practical <laughs> DIY. So in the kit came this round wooden coaster. So we already have a coaster. And we have this teal colored bowl. I think I might actually keep this after this DIY. This is a really nice color. Um, I've really been um, kind of obsessed with this like minty color. It's like turquoise teal. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to unpack this and see what's in here. You can pick this up on a variety of websites. I'm sure they sell things like this at stores too, but I bought it online from overseas, as you can see there. Okay, so we have a variety of materials here. I should probably be wearing gloves for this. I did wear gloves for the last one. I don't want to get any of this stuff on my nails, in my nails. <clears throat> okay. So I'm good to go. So we have a sponge. I wonder if they gave me this in the last kit too. A little spatula. I do have one of these. It's so funny that they match. That's actually why I chose this mat. I have this mat in different colors. I thought, hey, this is really cohesive. <clears throat> okay, so we have the glass. I am going to cut this out now. Okay, let me grab a bowl or something of some sort. I'll be right back. So I'm just pouring the mosaic glass into a glass bowl. These are really pretty, by the way. Wait till you see them. So here's the glass. And I'm going to pick up each one. So we have different colors. We have black. It's beautiful. Um, deep red orange. Or actually, it's not that deep. But it is very pretty. These are very spring-like spring colors. I find mosaic DIY kits to look very spring-like. So you yeah, a bunch of uh, pretty colors in here. Putting that here. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, hmm, I had to mix this with water. And the way I did it last time was wrong. <laughs> um, I think it came out looking really funny. I don't know what this is. This is, oh, this is adhesive. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 So I think I know what, what I'm going to do this time. Um, it didn't come with instructions. That's, that's kind of weird. Maybe I should look them up really quickly. Um, but anyway, you mix this with water. Last time I put too much water and it looked like melted ice cream. You want it to be kind of thick, um, thicker than pancake mix. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you mix that together, you put that in here. And then you slowly add the mosaic pieces and the design of your preference. I don't know what this is. This wasn't in my thing last time. So I'm not sure if I should let this dry first onto the coaster and then glue the pieces on. Um, this could also be like an overlay to seal everything, kind of like Mod Podge. Um, but I'm going to check <laughs> the instructions on my tablet here and see 
what to do. So DIY coaster. I'm just looking at my order history. I'm probably not going to have any cuts in this video. I want it to be authentic. DIY coaster mosaic. <clears throat> okay, so I purchased this around 5 USD, which is pretty good. I was actually kind of intimidated looking at this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. Um, oh, so we applied the glue first, then put them. That's what it was. Okay. Um, add the mosaic and then probably let it dry. Adjust the sealant. And then you're and then you're done okay so it's supposed to look like that <clears throat> i don't know what shapes i want to use are these all squares yes they are okay let's see blue i like the um the green and the blues there's a lot of pretty greens and blues here. Let me actually just do this so I can see them easier. Okay, so there's some whites. It's more like a gray, actually. Gray might be one of my least favorite colors. I try not to buy it, but um, sometimes for specific tools, like that's the only color they have, like if you're a needle felter, or if you know of needle felting, you know that a lot of the <laughs> the wool, um, let's call them like little um, boards that you stick the needle through when you're working on a project, those are always gray. First world problems. Um, <laughs> but they're always gray, so like that's one of the few gray things I have in my space. My laptop is silver. Okay, so we have another black. Ah, uh, imagine I make like a fall theme coaster. I'm thinking about it because I'm, I'm seeing some fall colors here. I don't want to do a summery one. I'm not even close to summer. I have like a pale yellow or like lime green. Brown. Yep, fall color. Yeah, so we have winter, fall, spring, summer. Yeah, I'm very tempted to do a fall themed coaster. More grays. Yeah, these are these are definitely winter. It's very tempting to want to do a winter one. I love winter. But I love how many pieces they give you. Because these are not all going to fit onto here. Yeah, I think these are like fall. That's so pretty. Let's see what colors are these. Yeah. What is that? That's pretty. It's like, um, I find this to be like more iridescent than the other ones. We have white. That to me is a you see mosaics, when I think of mosaic, like traditional mosaic, I think of blue and white. Like very Grecian style colors, or maybe Turkish. Um, more white. Yeah, this one's really resonating with me. This palette here. But so is this one. Decisions, decisions. What are we going to do? Yeah, that's summer vibes. 
have it. Oh my god, these are so pretty, these pearlescent ones. I don't know if you can see them like this one here and this one. Yeah, this is giving me a walk in the park. It's the... It's maybe the third week of snow every day. Okay, so we have our fall colors. Um, spring colors, all green. That's how my brain works. And we have our summer. Okay, so summer, fall, winter. These are all so pretty. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using these. <clears throat> so you guys are going back to jail. Um, fall is very tempting, very, very tempting. I wonder how the black would look. I try not to use too much black in my crafting because I, crafting is supposed to be, for me at least, um, like a more, um, like, like this color is not the happiest color is what I'm trying to say. And when it comes to crafting, I try to keep my things really light. But please ex excuse the noise outside. Um, but for being realistic, black is a fundamental color of winter. If you know, you know, right? <clears throat> there are some really dark days. You know, we don't see... A lot of rain or sun it's just cold cloudy days that's how i think of winter i love winter which is crazy but um i feel like black really is the color for winter and fall too but like mostly just winter you know we spend a lot of time in the dark it's you know shorter days <clears throat> okay i'm obviously gonna need to fill this in should I add a different, ooh. Okay, there might be a change of plans. I might have to make a Christmas theme one. Is that crazy? Because I, I, I just don't have enough for winter. I don't know what to go with. Hmm. So I definitely love the blues. Okay, let's make this a really light, fun color scheme. Let's get rid of any sad colors, because these are sad colors. They're beautiful colors, don't get me wrong. But I want to make this very peppy. I'm going to be putting this on my desk. Like This is something I'm going to be using. And I, I want something really vibrant. Like Everything on my desk, <clears throat> like my entire crafting area is really upbeat and like colorful and happy. Um, I don't want too many like sad colors. So we might have to actually do pastel. I might keep these like super pearly ones. Those are so nice. Okay. I don't have yellow on my desk. I'm not really a big fan of using yellow in, um, in my decor choices. These are so pretty. And I'm tempted to just just put them on, like not think about the design too much and then go from there. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna separate these colors a bit. I can also do a gradient. Okay, I want them to be hugging. Oh, I can make a peace sign, how cute. I'm going to try to do a pattern. It might not work. These pretty light colors. This is so relaxing. The sound of the glass. This could easily be an ASMR video if my voice was a little softer. <laughs> um... 
matching. It's not a perfect pattern. should have maybe just put the um, adhesive first before I started doing this. I mean, I have all day to do crafts today, so I'm just like literally just wasting time, killing time doing this, which is fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to try to be clever and yeah. Okay. So we have like happy colors on the outside. Imagine I just end up doing all the seasons. That'd be funny. Okay. I'm trying to do the math here. Okay. These might have to be spread out a little bit. These colors are so pretty. My gosh. It's so, so pretty. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that color. Let's, um, hmm. These pearly ones are nice, but they might be better in the center. Trying to keep the colors more balanced all around. This is tricky. Okay, I think we have it. So I might do a portion at a time. I've never used glue like this. I'm tempted to wear my mask. I really don't like to use glue in projects besides maybe like tacky glue or hot glue. I find it to be like really toxic and just bad <laughs> to put it simply. Okay, I'm just squeezing here. Use both hands. Oh, that's not fun. Okay. So it literally just what just flew? Okay, so there's glue coming out. So we're gonna have to change the plan here. I'm just gonna try to move quickly here and hope for the best. I'm gonna replay that. I'm curious to see what that looked like. <laughs> that was insane. Um, Yeah, my nose is starting to get a little irritated. Could be anything. I might also need to grab some. Let me put this on here. I'm going to put this on here for now. I might need to grab some toothpicks. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so this piece fell. the only thing I have. <laughs> this is what I usually use for my um, crafting supplies. I'm sorry, for my miniature kits. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. This looks really funny. <laughs> not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. At the end of the day though, like this is better than not having the glue because um, in my last kit, I didn't have the glue. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I'm trying to see the positive. I wish it would work. I feel a little bit embarrassed. 
I'm not gonna lie, I feel embarrassed. That just happened on camera. <laughs> okay, so you wanna leave some space between them. I think that was a lesson from my last, um, my last time doing this. Yeah, I think the glue is already starting to get into places it shouldn't. Okay, this is really, really sticky. Wow. Yeah, this isn't working that well. But I'm gonna try to move quick. I don't, I don't wanna spend too much time with the glue process. What I'm really, really looking forward to is using the plaster because I kind of messed it up last time. I didn't know what I was doing. It was my first time Oh, making grout. That's what it was. It's a grout. Yeah, the glue's gonna touch the um, the little glass things, unfortunately. I'm so glad I'm wearing gloves. Oh, I usually do not wear gloves for things like this. Even though I wore a glove in last time's thing, it's because it came with the glove. <laughs> That's why I wore the glove last time. I'm tempted to just pour the adhesive everywhere. Um, but yeah, I didn't, um, I wouldn't have worn gloves last time if it didn't come with gloves. Yeah, this is getting very messy. Very, very messy. I pour tweezers. And I'm also glad my cat is not anywhere near me because I don't want her sniffing or whatever. Um, there's no odor. I don't really smell anything, but it's always in the back of my head when using these types of glues. Like, I don't know if this is FB, FDA approved. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. But it's not a food or a drug. It's literally glue, right? Okay, I'm trying to focus here. Probably going to use up all of these today. How sad. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's move quickly. Yeah, this is not going to be the most aesthetically pleasing thing. I'm going to try to make that not the case. I might add rhinestones on the side, like bedazzle it or something, I don't know. But this was kind of a fail. But I know why they put the glue in there. I just wish the glue was better. But yeah, no big deal. It happens. These affordable super affordable kits from the internet aren't going oh aren't always going to be perfect so buyer beware okay this is a realistic video for a reason i want to see if i can help someone <laughs> um yeah i hope my little experience here helped somebody Woo. but so far so good honestly like this is really not a big deal um Okay, let's put the blue here and put this. I love this shade of blue, it's so pretty. Okay, can we fit two more? I think we can, honestly. Let's, let's put in the white one. Okay. I'm just gonna press everything down, make sure it's somewhat set. Oh, are these not glued in? Let me see. Let's see, is there any glue I can pick up from here? I'm really winging those here. Okay, so some sides, some parts are closer to each other than others. It is what it is. Thinking of adding another one. 
Okay, so the glue doesn't dry that quickly, thankfully. I, I might just add glue all over to the, um, the center. Just pressing down. Boom, okay. Taking this off. I'm gonna have to wash this mat really well today. I don't want any of this glue sticking on there. Okay, but it's fine. Crafting mats are meant to be destroyed, so it's all good. I'm gonna go back to the Q uh, to the this uh, little party picks. <laughs> um, I'm tempted on using maybe yellows. Okay, let me see if I can just use up this entire glue. Oh yeah, this is getting really, really messy. Do you see that? Do you see my mess? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a very generous amount of glue because I don't want to have to come back into this little bottle not the funnest experience using this thing. I'm having fun in general, but just this thing is, um, this might be the most challenging part of this kit, an unexpected challenge. These things get very messy. Again, I'm very happy my cat is nowhere to be found. No, she's, she's here somewhere, which is probably taking a nap on like, I don't know, a blanket or something. Okay. I'm done with this, <laughs> thankfully. I'm, I, I hope I'm done. hope I don't have to go back. All right, so gloves are very sticky. Very, very happy to have gloves on. Um, okay, so let's do some happy colors. I want to create some contrast. So with the blue, I'm going to put the yellows. You know, try to keep some sort of a pattern. And again, I do want a little bit of space between each tile. Okay, we have like a paler, more muted, like mustard yellow there. Um, all right, what's another contrast piece? There's a little contrast there. All right, I think I can put two in here. Let's do some greens. Green here. <clears throat> oh, this is looking so pretty in my opinion. Let's do some oranges with the light green here. With the, this is such a pretty color. Look at that peach, that peach here. Oh, I love that color. I'm hoping it'll stay down. I want to add one more orange somewhere. I think it's fitting to put it next to the green. Speaking of green, we have a nice light green. I freaking love this color. It's like a grass green color. It's a bit artificial, but so pretty. Okay, also, I think I'm starting to smell that glue. Um... Ooh, this pretty, like, rosy, light purple color. How pretty is that? Very, very pretty feminine colors. There's definitely a balance, in my opinion, of, like, like, like more feminine, masculine tones. Uh, when I think of feminine, I think of pastel, or, like, pink, pinky colors. Oh, this is so pretty. And when I think of masculine, I think of muted, dark, more, more solid, like primary colors. Okay. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm just mixing it up. Don't know if I'm going to do the browns, 
those don't really resonate with me, but we'll see. Because I have to choose between the browns and the blues. <laughs> if that's the case, I might go with the browns. I'm not really feeling these anymore, actually. Because it, it just doesn't matter. Like, this is such a beautiful color. I don't feel like it'll mesh well with these. Like, I feel like that is such a pretty color. It won't do well in this crowd. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels more traditional. Like, this feels not traditional. Just how my brain works, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, let's add another green here. The greens are pretty close to each other, but I feel like green is such a lucky color. <clears throat> like when I think of green, I think of luck and success. <laughs> okay. Uh, eh. Okay, I think we can put two more in here. Just gonna clean the tweezers with these gloves. These will be disposed. I was thinking of getting another use out of them, but it's not gonna happen. Okay. Let's do... I wish there was a more sustainable way um, to do this. Because I, I hate using gloves in general. But to protect my myself, I kind of have to. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, let's put this in here. It's such a pretty color. Okay, what I'm going to do now is a bit strange. But I'm going to move... Wait, can I fit another one in here? Oh, those are too close to each other. Those colors are way too similar. Um... I'm just gonna say something. I was just gonna make one in the center and then move everything close to each other. Do you see that? It's like a little line. It's fine, no big deal. Um, yeah, that's a little too perfect. But it does create stability for your drink. Because again, th this is a practical item. Now I'm pressing everything down, make sure that the tiles are not... Yeah, that's really bothering me. I'm taking this off. One of these off. Or adding another one in the center, because this is looking not so great to me. Let, let, let me try to add another one in the center. The three is a charm. To me, that makes better sense. It's not perfect at all but we're not perfectionists here. Oh my good. Oh my gosh. I'm like speechless. Like words, the words are forming in my head, but they're not coming out right. Love that. Okay. I used up most of the tiles. <laughs> These are the colors I didn't use. Not sure what to do with those. Um, I'm gonna have to keep these gloves on. And now I'm going to pour this grout mix or whatever you wanna call it, whatever it is called. Oh wait, it's already mixed for you. It's already mixed. Is it? I can't tell. Okay. It just feels very fluid, but it could just be the type of plastic they use. So I'm gonna just cut this any way I want to and making a mess in the meantime. All right, <laughs> so there's the powder. Okay, what I'm going to do is go to the sink and add just the teeniest bit of water and come back. All right, I'm adding a few drops. Okay, I'm going to attempt to mix this on camera. I put in the smallest amount of water. 
Okay, no, not really, but small enough. Less than I had last time. And I'm going to mix, mix, mix. Again, I'm really loving these colors. <laughs> really mix that. It is, yeah, starting to look like pancake mix, but thicker, which is how you're supposed to be doing it. Yeah, you see? It's like cake batter. There's a little bit of powder left on the, the sides of the bowl. Whoa, yeah, this is a very nice consistency. It's a little bit like yogurt that's been sitting on the counter for an hour. <laughs> that's how I would describe the consistency. Like a nice quality ice cream. Or like a soft serve. Okay, just making sure it is thoroughly mixed. Because last time it was super grainy. All right, we're good. All right, so <clears throat> the reason the sponge is here is to clean off any remaining, any, I'm sorry, any excess. To remove the excess grout, you will need the sponge. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. And I'm hoping the adhesive has nicely settled into the wood and the glass tiles have cemented in the glue. Yeah, I don't want to put too much because I hated when that happened last time. I hated it. But I'm, I'm really going to try to get it into all of the crevices. And then add more if necessary. So I'm going to bring this closer so you can see. That looks like. In my opinion, that's looking pretty good. Oh, the tiles are moving. I just saw them. No big deal. Yeah, I want a nice, flat, elegant surface. I wonder if this can be sealed with Mod Podge. I like to wash my coasters And I'm debating on, on whether or not I should be using Mod Podge for this. Okay, so I am being extra gentle here. And I do need some on the outside. I think we're set on the center of this little circle. Oh, look at that. It's like clumpy. That might be the glue. So let me see if I can remove... Yeah, it's like glue or something. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm going to clean it off. I think it's starting to dry. I think that's what's happening. But let me put a little bit on the sides. There were photos of, there were images of children in the product images. If you are planning on buying this for a child, please handle the glue part of this, okay? Let them do the mosaic and then have them watch you do the glue, <laughs> okay? If I was a teacher, I would not want my students handling the glue. I would say even high school kids, like <laughs> that, was, uh, that was unfortunate what happened there. And please wear gloves. In fact, I don't even think this is a, a good activity for classrooms. Imagine having to manage all of the, oh no, that's just, <laughs> it seems very, very, like very hard work. Um, okay, I don't want, 
any of the I want the grout to be touching the outside just a little bit Yeah, this is definitely coming out better than last time. I feel really good about that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use the sponge. I have more sponges that I can use um, if this one is not doing a good job. I do want that wood to be showing on the outside, so I'm gonna clean that too. But I just wanna make sure all of the holes here are covered. Oh, sorry, the gaps. There's gaps here. And what I'm going to do is the same thing I did last time. Um, I'm going to, um, once it dries, I'm going to take a Q-tip and just clean. In fact, I'll start doing that now because why not? Oh, there's a gap. See that? So I'll just add a, few, a little bit more there okay cool i'm gonna grab a q-tip um i think these gloves can come off i'll be back okay i'm just looking for q-tips oh these are good okay so i use these to do <clears throat> more specific cleaning. So I'm just cleaning. I want to clean the wood first. I don't want the I don't want the grout to set in to the pores of the wood. I don't know what kind of wood this is. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just I want things to be done right. Yeah, and it's already starting to dry. The bottom of this is wet. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my butterfingers because I was kind of, I think I was sweating. <laughs> I took off the gloves. I'm like, oh, there's a little bit of uh, moisture. I think I was sweating when the glue, when I had the glue incident. So I'm like, whoa, what just happened? And I was like looking for my cat. Like, I hope she's not here. She gets very curious as many cats do. Oh, there's even a cat hair. Speak of the devil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a cat here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to clean the tops. Um, I'm not going to use water until it is fully um, until it is fully dry. I'm just taking off as much as I can here, so I don't have to use too much water. I was going to use Q-tips, but I think we may have run out. We might need to replace them, like regular, like grooming Q-tips or hygiene, whatever. But yeah, I usually use this for um, to clean up specific projects or like very specific sections of a project, like my miniature kits. If I want to clean up any like excess glue or whatever, I'm gonna have to use more of these. These really come in handy. But I might want to start using these for my nails too. This is a really long video. I might have to do cuts. I'll see how I'm feeling after I'm done. Actually, now that I think about it, I might have to do some cuts because I'm gonna have to film again when this is dry. By the way, this grout is really easy to wash, so I'm not too concerned.
Yeah, this is a, some of these are already setting. I think last time I had to wait like three hours or something. I have to watch that video back. Um, I'm using up a lot of these. I think that's excessive glue. I'm not sure. So I think the, the glue may have mixed with the grout mix. I'm doing an okay job. A little bit more. And the tiles are shifting. I hope I'm not messing anything up by doing it like this. Okay. Definitely some imperfections there, but it's very realistic looking, in my opinion. Ooh. I don't want to irritate that little section too much. I want it to dry properly. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side for a few hours, I'll be back.